Hello, happy, happy today. Um, welcome again to a Guidance Energy Chat with me. Uh, we're going to start by coming together and center and crown uh, to enjoy this moment. So I invite you to sit comfortable and to just relax your body and to drop your hands. Um, I like dropping them. So if you're sitting cross-legged, it's nice to drop them on your knees. If you're sitting on a chair, on your, on your knees as well. <laughs> just find your comfortable position. Drop your hands. Um, put your palms of your hands uh, on your body, not palms up. Put them on your body. You're uh, with yourself right now. Close your eyes and connect with your breath. We're going to start by doing a three deep breaths. So go at your own rhythm, breathing in and filling up your whole space with your breath coming inside. Relax and breathing out, dropping, cleansing out. And do it two more times at your own rhythm. And you're here, feeling the ground you're sitting on. This ground supporting you, this ground being earth. You are here being supported. You are here safe with yourself. You're connected with your breath. I invite you to bring your awareness to your lower belly and feel yourself breathing here. It's important to allow our breast circulation to go deep down our lower belly and uh, pelvic floor. Uh, you may observe sometime during the day that your breast is blocked a bit higher and doesn't go deep down. So it's important to take this moment to allow your flow to go deep inside of you. Each time you breathe out, you feel yourself relaxing a little bit more. Relax your legs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly and your lower back. Relax your butt. And relax your torso. Relax your arms and your hands, drop it. Dropping your shoulders, relaxing your neck. And relaxing your head, your jaw, softening your face. Relaxing your eyes and your forehead. Each breath cycle brings you a new wave of relaxation. And you feel yourself embracing more and more your inner space. As your breath is flowing in and out, you can feel your energy. Now I want you to bring your focus in your heart center and to breathe through your heart center. It's in your sternum area, the lungs. Connect with your heart center and let yourself breathe. Feel this energy center vibrating and pulsating inside of you. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and drop your arms.
feeling yourself vibrating from inside. Feeling your energy emanating from your inner being. Who you are inside is vibrating outside. And this is your power, your inner power expanding. This is you, you inside. No matter what you're wearing, no matter what you have in your materiality, no matter your activity, you are your inside. You are your inner being. And we're taking a moment now to connect with our inner being. So in this moment of silence, connect with your inner self. Your inner being is vibrating, your heart is beating, your energy is flowing. You are filling yourself within. You are alive and you are with yourself. When the outside is turning too fast or shaking us up or things can be scary or startling or overwhelming, it's the outside. And it's important to take time to be with your inner being, to feel yourself within. Because you're going through life with yourself with who you are inside. No matter you're outside, you are always yourself. Feeling your inner being calming down, breathing, connecting with all its parts. It's supporting your growth. supporting your feeling of feeling home, being home and safe with yourself. I am home within. I am home within. I am home within. I invite you now to come back into your physicality, feeling your physical body. And gently opening your eyes. Thank you for doing that with me together. Together it feels nice. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, you may hear I change environment and it's, um, it's a bit louder. There's more people around me. Uh, there's more life uh, in my physical environment, in my home. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about this sense of community, this sense of being together, this sense of family. Um, 
in a big point of view, in a wide perspective, uh, every human being is part of the same family. If we look at ourselves as a species, for example, every dog is a dog, part of the dog family. There's different, you know, breeds and races and like um, specificities that puts the dogs in different families, but it's a whole family of dogs. And we are a whole family of human beings living in the same home, which is the planet Earth. So this is a big. If we're looking at our more smaller, like I was talking about during the meditation, your home within with yourself, all your cells, all your little part inside of you. This is one, this is you, this is your home. Then there's the people around you in your household, there's your, your family, there's your friends. And then it expands the people in your town, in your community, the neighborhood and uh, the country, the countries and the continent. So these are examples just to express um, this feeling of being home, this feeling of being all part of, uh, we have something in common, I like this word community, uh, common, <laughs> I see common in community, and we have something in common. and when there is times of um, the word crisis may come out with what we're living now so in times of crisis in times of deep transformation and in times of crazy changes and unpredictability and maybe the certainties are being smashed <laughs> we just don't know something new is being created and it's happening in surprising ways um, we can't go back there is no going back there's never going back uh, you're not gonna go back into being a baby <laughs> you're gonna go older <laughs> um, yeah the sense of all being together and in time of deep transformation it's important to remember what unites us that we are connected with each other because we are responsible for, we, we may feel sometimes, you know, this sense of responsibility for the, the saving the world or making the world better, of saving Mother Earth um, with the climate change and all this, um, the, all this way of thinking, and that can bring a bit of weight on us. Um, weight you may feel in your lower back, weight you may feel on your shoulders, what you may carry as guilt in your belly. Um, there's many different ways this weight is expressing itself, but it's, it's something a bit loud, a bit heavy, a bit way. So I invite you to, ex to observe actually with yourself if there's something you feel it's a bit heavy. Um, and know that you're not alone and the responsibility of the whole because is that you're responsible for yourself to change to make the whole like for example in every country they have different rules about this virus and there are a lot of people that are a bit breaching the rules and not really thinking about other people not that they i think they're not inconsiderate it's just it's a bit overwhelming sometimes to think about everyone else and especially when we're scared we have maybe the tendency to to close up and uh, it's not because we think about everyone else that we put the responsibility of everyone else's lives on our shoulder it's just we are aware we're part of a whole of a community of many people that are interconnected and together are making our life everyone is part of your life if you like them or not they're part of your life and observing that is just for us to remember and to accept that we are part of this whole, this whole mechanism, this whole play uh, of life happening. And the responsibility is on us to change our own habits, our own behavior, to work on ourselves, and to embrace our inner being to then express this. If you want some change happening, if you feel insecure, you need to go within, you need to observe your own life, you need to listen to what's happening and take action 
for yourself, for yourself in the way that you're changing your own habits, for the vision you have, you know, for the rest. Um, yeah. We are in a big time of change. Wow. I find it very, very exciting. And this excitement expresses itself in different ways. There's excitement, oh, it's new, we can create new, people are changing, uh, people are opening their eyes, behaviors are changing. Um, and as you know, I love change, so I find it very exciting to have all those changing happening. And I don't know how they're going to express and how everyone is going to react, but it's exciting to see the change. But there's also a part that is very confused. The excitement is also confusion because I'm coming from one state and I'm going towards another. Obviously, the other state, I've got no idea. I'm, I'm here. So I know what, I, what I'm coming from, but I have no idea where it's going to. So to direct and to guide, I center with myself. I do for me. I do for me thinking about everyone else. That's the thing. So you, when I say I do for me or I'm responsible for myself, it's not like, oh, no matter the other, I don't mind. It's not that. It's the other matter. Everyone matters because we're all part of one and I want life to go towards a vision of peace. That's my vision. <laughs> not asking everyone to have this vision. This is my vision, a vision of peace and unity and accepting the other and just embracing who we are and embracing each other and working with each other and sharing with each other. And from, from your own vision, from my own vision, I do it. I do it with myself and with anyone that I meet around. You know, I'm, I'm the center of my own reality. So, um, yeah, when it's confused, come back here and now in what you need now. And I want to talk, I want to bounce from that into something else I feel now. So when this big time of changing, it's um, a big a time of reassessments. I assess, I reevaluate my life. What are my values? What are my priorities? What, what do I want? And when we don't know, because what do I want when we don't know what's happening? It's a bit, um, can be a bit panicky, a bit frightening. It's not about what do I want for after, what do I want right now? My responsibility is being at home with myself right now. This feeling of being home. We are home on earth. And, and to be home together on this big planet, we have to feel home with ourselves within and in our direct environment. So I, yeah, talking about that, I really feel uh, we are being faced to ask ourselves, what's my priority? What, what is value and what do I put value on? You know, is it the clothes I'm wearing? Is it what I can buy or not buy? Or is it something else? Is it having people around me that accept me for who I am and allow me to express my emotion and to be me? Because I'm a weirdo and I want to be a weirdo. <laughs> um, is it working on a project? Is it, I don't know, is it gardening my own vegetables because I want to do that? Like, what's, what's my priority? What's the value? Um, with all this lockdown and quarantine and limitations, uh, it's not about breaking, like uh, containing our freedom. It's actually allow us to feel contained because we can't really go outside and to really create our own freedom with ourselves. Because freedom is not uh, walking in the streets whenever you want. Freedom is being able to be with yourself and to create your own way of thinking and to do your own thing with yourself. Uh, I think the message is clear. It's really with yourself. Um, yeah, a time of reassessment. And I'm going to pick a card from my tarot deck. Wow! Ta -ta -da! The Nine of Earth. So this is uh, Pentacles. This card is a message of 
uh, we're before completion. The nine is before the 10. 10, usually it's a new cycle, is a one with a zero. That's how I say it, one. There is unity and there is a zero coming into a new cycle. And in the numbers as well, huh? it's one till nine, there's a 10, and then we restart. 10 plus one, 10 plus two, that's them. Uh, but we know in the 10, we're in the 9, and the 9 is telling us that we are getting there, but there's still efforts to be made. We still have to work and make the efforts to get into the new cycle. And here we're talking about materiality and physicality. So it's really talking about our physical home, our planet Earth. I'm not talking about having, I don't know, actually. I'm talking about not because I'm talking about what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. When we don't know, <laughs> let's not, you know, get confused and lost about it. Let's, let's come into what we know right now. And what you know right now, it's your physical body. we into the earth in the physicality here. It's my physical body. And there's still efforts to be made to create something new, a new physicality, a new economy, because pentacles are coins, huh? a new economy. We're talking a lot about the economy crisis and, and um, like coming, restoring the economy. Well, it's, it's uh, not really restoring the economy, it's regenerating it into something new. Materiality again. So there's still efforts to be made. And those efforts, as I was chatting about, it's you with yourself. Create for yourself. Um, that's why isolation is very interesting because if you imagine you're just you with yourself alone, what can you do? Are you able to sustain yourself just on your own? And this is interesting because what the value you put on other people in your life and why do we need to be interconnected? Because we're social beings. And we're social beings because together we can create more and we can also support each other. You know, we don't have to do everything ourselves. It's not less weight. Because when I say efforts, efforts, I don't mean that it's something that's weighing and heavy and hard work. Effort is just I keep doing. I keep doing and taking care of myself and taking care of the things I have to do to create this new happening. But it is happening. It is happening. And it's two, 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 two right now. Beautiful. In 2020, two, 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 two. I love you. And I wish you a blissful time discovering yourself and taking the time to connect with your inner being. Ciao. Bye.